What's up guys, welcome to Apex, thanks for tuning in. Samsung has finally started rolling out the security patch for the Galaxy S23 series. We have been waiting for this update, it's almost end of the month and now we have started getting this update. As the phone gets older, the update starts coming late and this is the best example for that. Now let's go to the settings here. I'll tap on software update and tap on download and install. There is nothing new here, no new features. It's purely a security patch and the size is fairly large. It's about 476.33 MB. Version ends with DYDB and the Android version is 15 of course, One UI version 7. And in the change log, it talks about device stability improvements, bug fixes, and the other improvements here. Let me resume download. Let's go ahead and install this update. And then I'll come back to you guys and see if there is a new Google Play system update for the S23 series. And let's also do our routine test, uh, some checks on the application opening animations. And let's see if there is any stutters or lags on the device. Now it's ready to install. Let me tap on install now. And let me talk a bit about this device here. Now this is more than two year old device. And I still feel that this is as good as brand new compared to the Galaxy S24 series, S25 series, it is at par and I don't see any issues in terms of the smoothness, the animations, the transitions, the performance on the device, everything is perfect even today. And S23 Ultra is still a beast and it will be a beast for the next couple of years at least. And the One UI 7 has really changed everything on this device, the smoothness, the animations and the performance. But yeah, I do see some of you guys complaining about the battery. I can understand uh, we do have some battery issues on this phone. Uh, maybe not everybody, but some of you guys may be facing it. For that, I have already posted some videos about how you can conserve the battery and what you need to do to uh, complain about the battery on a Samsung members application. If the battery issue is really related to the firmware, then only Samsung can provide an update and rectify the battery uh, issues. So all we can do is inform Samsung on members application and Samsung should be fixing those issues in the future. Now, as far as my device is concerned, I have been using this. In fact, my wife has been using this phone uh, for the last few months and she is not facing any issues on the device. The battery is performing uh, good. I would not say great. And let's hope with the uh, current security patch, the battery performance improves on the device. Now, this may take a few more minutes. Let me come back to you. Now, the phone has been updated. Let's open a few applications and check the animations and lags and stutters. I'll start with gallery, clock, Play Store, Messages, InShots, Tyler. Let's go to the recent application. No issues whatsoever here. Let's close all the applications here. Let's open the quick panel. Swipe towards the left for the notification panel. No issues here as well. Let's press and hold on the home screen. No issues whatsoever on the Galaxy S23 Ultra. So now what we will do is let's go to the settings here. Let's tap on security and privacy. I will tap on updates. Till now it was April 2025 Google Play system update. Let's see if we have got the update for May. Uh, it just shows 149 KB update here. So this may not be the May Google Play system update. But anyways, let me download and install it and let's restart the phone and let's check if there is any other update here. All right, now the phone has been restarted. Let's go back to the settings and uh, tap on security and privacy and tap on updates. It's still April Google Play system update. Let's try again. It says your device is up to date. So there is no May update yet for the Galaxy S23 series. That's about it. Let me know whether you have got the update or not. How is your device performing? Drop a comment and let me know. How is the battery performance? Do let me know. And I have also posted a video about One UI 8. If you missed that video, go ahead and check it out. That's about it. Thanks for watching. Hope you have already subscribed to the channel. If you haven't done it already, go ahead, subscribe. Give this video a like if you find this video informative. Thanks for watching. You guys Take care and stay safe. Cheers. Bye-bye.